Marshall Pruitt at Le Mans with Garage 56. We are spending some amazing time with Brandon Thomas from NASCAR, VP of Vehicle Design, this next-gen cup car, which is the basis, the heart of this Garage 56 Camaro ZL1. He's taking us on a pretty amazing technical tour, explaining what's different about the car for Le Mans, what's the exact same as you would find at a cup round with this Camaro. So let's get into a couple of the specific topics he's talking to us about here, getting ready for the centenary event, the 24 hours of Le Mans Garage 56. Let's talk about suspension, wheels, tires. Obviously, I love the fact that we're not on super no sidewall tires like you'll find everywhere right. else there's yep. again honoring this car's real heritage but tell me about the suspension side because rumbling around here eight and a half miles per lap for 24 hours it's a pretty unique challenge how full road racing endurance style road racing is the suspension how close to a cup car at sonoma coming up for example would this be oh, that's a great question um if you pop the hood and we'll do that here in a second. The control arms are right off the shelf next gen parts. I mean, literally pull them off the shelf from Visor Performance, bolt them on this car. I love it. The uprights all the way around started as the same forging for next gen parts, but the front's got a little more machining work done on it. And that was the only reason. That is cup geometry right there, and this cup geometry in the rear. Uh, off the shelf parts. The wheels, and tires are a great story. So one of the first things we worked on, Action Express was very helpful to us in the early stages of this program. MC and, Champions. It's, yeah, yeah, Gary Nelson, Ian Watt, all those guys over there really jumped in and helped. And so one of the first things that we learned during the elevator work was we're gonna be really relying on the rear tires to keep this car at pace. And they're gonna degrade very quickly. So the first thing we worked on was a wider rear tire. Mm. So the rear tire for Garage 56 is 13 and a half inch wide on the tread. Next gen rear tire and front tire is 12 inches wide. So that meant a new wheel. Oh, you've opened Pandora's box here. We know what all the cup drivers are gonna be asking for. That's right. Even here. They're, they're gonna want 13 and a half inch yeah. tires. Yes. Uh, the front tires are 12 and a half inches wide. Wow. Which also meant a new wheel. Now. And you can also look, I mean, if you're just looking at width here, I mean, you, oh, yeah. there is not a lot of space there. So you have it's maximized. It's pretty sexy. It's pretty uh, sexy, right? So we knew in road course trim, you're going to run negative camera on both sides. The oval car with positive camera on the left rear, we could never run this width car. So that's why we're locked in at 12 on the cup car. Brandon's nickname is Stance, by the way. He's all about getting the wheels <laughs> and all the fender fit. This guy's amazing. So that launched an entire tire development program with Goodyear um, and they jumped in you know that as soon as as soon as the first couple of meetings went down and Goodyear was told hey do you want to take one of these bad boys to Lamar they're like yes do you know what that means yes <laughs> and they delivered right I mean from the start of the test program with the first mule car at Road Atlanta we were already on these wheels we were already running tires and BBS stepped up so this is not obviously the cup wheel, but as a set, this is 22 pounds lighter than the set cup wheel. 22 pounds, less rolling mass to try and yes. spin up and slow. Again, phenomenal, but that's perfect yeah. for sports car racing. Absolutely. So why don't we continue on the suspension you were talking about, Brandon, and give us a little bit of a deeper insight into, as you said, off the shelf, but obviously perfectly suited. Yes. So there again, right, when we started with Next Gen, it was the car's going to have to do short ovals. It's going to have to do road courses. It's going to have to do the high banks of Daytona and Talladega. It's going to have to do things we didn't even envision. The dirt race at Bristol didn't exist when we started designing <laughs> Next Gen. So we took, a, we took a really honest look at suspension geometry with Delara when we started on the car, and we brought a lot of team folks in and said, hey, Tell us what you want, tell us what you think. And the teams being the teams, and I get it, they didn't want to talk a lot about what suspension geometry they use. And so we just basically started with laying out a fairly generic road racing suspension. Yeah, dampers obviously visible yep. here in Coil springs. over dampers, uh, rack and pinion steering, uh, unequal length A-arm 
geometry, front end, rear, and a roll bar low in the front, up top in the rear, blade adjustable in a roll bar. All that is the cup car stuff from the start. And this car uses the exact same parts. That's phenomenal. Knowing that there's so many things that were customized, the fact that you have basically what you need here, when you're having to put together a special project, it's nice when not every single thing requires Absolutely. customization. Absolutely, yeah. At some point in time, you have to have some small wins where you just literally pull a part off and say, I know this is going to fit. And this one has very few of them. Yeah. <laughs> but in, in, in general, we, we had a lot of those a lot of those things, a lot of those opportunities with the original next-gen parts.